Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Today I would like to talk about how to start a Black Templar Army in 10th edition of Warhammer 40k. Okay, so before I start, I want to make clear that this video is not going to be like a list of things that you have to buy. No, this is going to be more like a suggestion about how to start a Black Templar Army or how to improve an existing one. Uh, let's say that this is more like, okay, based on my own experience, if I had to start a Black Templar Army right now, uh, which kind of boxes should I get to have the foundation of that army? So in this video, we're going to aim to get like about 1000 points and let's keep in mind that uh, Let's say the most extended Warhammer 40k games are 2000 points. So this is about going halfway, like one step in every direction, but of course having like a nice uh, proper Black Templar foundation. So let's start with that. If we talk about starting a Black Templar army, of course we have to talk about the Black Templar's combat patrol first of all. Uh, this is a nice combat patrol. I, I like it. I'm okay with it. And it's especially nice if you want to play combat patrol games because this is the box that will allow you to play combat patrol games for 40 k and maybe you want to get familiar with the game or play your first matches in this small scale so this is especially nice for that the biggest inconvenience is that uh, for combat patrol games the loadout is fixed so you will have to uh, equip the miniatures with the weapons that they have to be using in the combat patrol games which is a little bit inconvenient it's not the the best in most of the cases but it's quite nice and i think that it's like a nice way to get into warhammer 40k so if you want to play combat patrol games with black templars this is like the, the best way of doing it of course in my opinion the best thing about the combat patrol is that if we want all these miniatures and we want to add them to our army it's going to be cheaper to do it like this because this box is discounted and it's going to be cheaper rather than if we get each miniature individually so that's quite nice in my opinion and what does this box contains? First of all, we have a Black Templar's Marshal. Basically, a Marshal is like the Black Templar's equivalent of the regular uh, Space Marine Captain. Uh, yes, Black Templars can also use the regular Space Marine Captain. The main difference is that the Marshal is a more Black Templar looking one, more iconic to the faction. and. Uh, it's cheaper in game because it also has less warrior options, but it's, it's cool, it's nice and it's interesting to have one at least if you are going to collect Black Templar, so it's, it's a really cool miniature. And then we have a Primaris Crusader Squad, such an iconic unit of the Black Templars, I really like them, they are super cool. And of course they are always useful, I mean Black Templar players, they will have more than one in the collection for sure. And uh, then we're going to have something very important in my opinion and that it's the Upgrade Pro. Right now, at the moment of recording this video, this is the best Space Marine upgrade screw that we can get because, uh, well, yes, it's, uh, it's also the most expensive, but it's the one that contains the most uh, quantity of Black Templar things, so you can take some generic Space Marine unit and you can use this upgrade screw and turn them into proper Black Templars. Not only like infantry units, also like vehicles and such, so it's super nice, it's super cool. I, I really like this upgrade screw because it's super important to make your army look uh, Black Templar army, let's say. It's quite nice, I really like it. And then we're going to have five man intercessor squad and then we're going to have a primary symbol so that's maybe the thing that causes the most the, the debate about the, why is it here but i think that it's okay i mean i really i'm really happy with with this box i mean i got one of these i have one of this and i don't regret getting it uh, from my point of view i really wanted the the, the marshal the black templar primary Fusader squad and the upgrades through uh, so I decided to pay a little bit more and get an Impulsor and the Intercessor, so uh, at some point if you are a Space Marine player you will get a lot of different things, so I knew that maybe in the future I will get uh, one, so for me it was like okay, if I'm going to have one of these in my collection I'm, I would like it to be like this in a discounted box, so that's why, that's why I'm so happy about it because it's like okay it's it's actually a good deal because they, they actually can be cool in game they, they have like nice rules and the, the black templar one is a little bit cooler because you can add like a multi meta to it that comes in the upgrades through so it's quite interesting and i'm i'm happy with this box i like the contents and it's something that i would recommend it's it's nice i, I really like it I mean, I like the units that come here and I think that they are like a nice addition to every possible army because 
a cut time or a marshal it's always nice to give it's like a nice buffing unit and it can deal some damage as well so it's nice uh, primary exclusive squad i already made a video talking about them i will leave, leave the link in the description and five man unit of intercessors it's it's nice as well because this this is a typical unit that you can use to score some points do some mission or leave them holding some objective they can do something they, they are there to to help you not to i don't know it's a nice unit let's say you can do a lot of things with them they, they are they can be useful in certain situations and they, it's nice to have them and uh, about the impulsor i want to say that for example in this year's uh, world team championship uh, spain came out seven uh, but there's a specific player that i want to talk about that uh, it's alejandro mancoso uh, he's like a really good space marine player and if i don't remember that uh, he was like uh, considered the best space marine player in that specific tournament and on his list he had an impulsor so this unit can have like a specific uh, role to, to, to use in a game it's quite nice you can use it in a very uh, fun or creative ways and it can be even in a very competitive list to one of them so it's quite nice uh, I, I like them actually now <laughs> they, they are more useful uh, they, they can they can have a place on a list so that's why i i'm happy with this box and i would recommend it so i'm okay i'm okay with it this is like a good addition or a good point to start a black temper army and of course we need to talk about the starting sets in this case i'm going to do two things i'm going to omit completely the cheapest ones so i will just talk about the two more expensive ones so if i talk about the cheapest one it's going to be the cheapest one between the two most expensive so if I say the cheapest, I will be referring to the one with the Terminators without the terrain. <laughs> and if I say the expensive, it's going to be the expensive, of course. And uh, here I'm not going to show any kind of price difference between getting these miniatures individually or getting them in this box. Because of course there are miniatures that we can only get in this box right now. And for example, with the Terminators that we can get them separately. Uh, there's a difference as well. So they are not the same unit because the ones here are the push fit models that came in the Leviathan box set. And uh, the ones that we can get individually are the ones that it's the full kit, that we can change the poses, we can change the war gear, we can do more things with them. So that's why I don't want to compare them like that. With that being said, what do we have in these boxes? In both of them, we are going to have a Captain in Terminator armor. It's a cool looking one actually, <laughs> and yes, it's another captain, but this one is different because this one has Terminator armor. So while the one in the combat patrol will be able to join Tacticus Parins, for example, the primary Crusader squad or the intercessors, this one will be able to join Terminator squads. Then we're going to have a unit of five Terminators and a unit of five uh, Infernos Marines. And in the most expensive one, aside from that, we will have also a Librarian Intervenitor Armor. But why do I think that the cheapest one between these two is the best for Black Templars? Because Black Templars do not like psychers. So Librarians, no, thank you. We don't play with Librarians. We don't use them, we don't like them, so no. Uh, that's why if you are very focused into Black Templars, the, the cheapest one between these two is perfect. It's very nice addition to every army, so it's quite nice. You can go for the most expensive one if you want the... I mean, with the most expensive one, you are going to get the Space Marine Combat Patrol, and if you want to play Combat Patrol games with the Space Marines, it's like a nice way of doing it. So it's it's interesting to do, it's nice, it's not bad. And uh, we also have, we're going to have the Combat Patrol of the Tyranids and we're going to have some building and scenography so it's quite nice as well to have some terrain so yes we're paying a little bit more but we're getting this kind of thing so this is up for you to decide if it's worth it or not in your case I think that for Black Templars the cheapest option it's, it's worth it it's more than enough so that's more up to you here we are going to have like a captain as well they're always useful and this one has good synergy with the terminators that's quite nice of course and then we have terminators i really like terminators because uh, we all love terminators they are super cool looking but in black tempers i like them because the, they are good at shooting and they are also very good at combat and of course black tempers have a lot of different buffs for uh, 
close combat and terminators are going to do that well so they are going to be able to fit nicely i really like them and infernos marines they are like a different unit that can deal with hordes and uh, they, they are they, they can be scary with their overwatch so it they're not that bad so it's like a nice thing to to add to an army i think that this uh, space marines in these boxes are also like a nice addition to uh, proper space marine army because of course terminators are cool and nice Fertus marine can be very useful and a carta intermediate armor especially this one is super low with the, the, the base that it has so this will be like my second option to uh, start a black templar force it's quite nice i really like it and finally i would like to talk about one of my personal favorite combat patrols and it's the dark angels one i really like this one i mean the bad thing about this combat patrol is that we are going to have two upgrade sprues for the dark angels and of course those ones are going to be worthless for us because if we are going to make them as black templars we don't need those upgrade sprues but still uh, if we compare if we remove those sprues and we compare the, the price of these uh, units compared with how much they will be to get them individually it's still cheaper it's not as uh, nice but it's still cheaper uh, so what do we have in this box set we have a uh, primary chaplain it's a uh, it's a good character for black templars because this one it's uh, it's going to buff uh, close combat and of course black templars like close combat then we have another five man intercessor squad then we have a unit of inceptors inceptors are cool because uh, if we have in mind the units that we have already in, in this video the inceptors are nice because they are they, they can move uh, quite fast and they have deep strike they can they, they have really nice rules to them, they, they are quite nice, they are, it's a very inter it's an interesting unit and I like them actually. I like Ravis Armor and I like flying Ravis Armor. And then we have a Redemptor Dreadnought, that is super cool and it suits perfectly Black Templars because of course, uh, when we add vehicles to Black Templars it's nice, I really like Dreadnoughts because they can shoot but they can also uh, be useful in close combat that's why i really like them for the black templar so that it, in my opinion it's like a really nice addition even even myself i'm tempted by by this box set i sometimes i see it and it's like oh it, it could actually be useful for me to have like a, a primary chaplain that i don't have i have grimaldus but i never got like a proper primary chaplain because it's like if i have grimaldus why, why i want this chaplain uh, but it's like hmm, i could get another dreadnought and i could get uh, these inceptors because they are cool and they are, they are very useful and they they can have like a clear purpose in a list and i think that they are cool and it's like i'm kind of tempted but i'm trying not to do it so it's there it says for me, let's say that it's like a perfect addition to every kind of army, so that's why I think that uh, adding this box to the ones that I already mentioned, it's quite interesting. So, as I said in the beginning, this is not a video about making a specific Black Templar list that I say to you, okay, this is uh, good for making a Black Templar army, buy this and you will have your 2000 points. No, this is for me like a foundation of a Black Templar army. Uh, if we combine the three boxes that I mentioned in this video, we're going to have a little bit more than 1000 points and uh, a proper Warhammer 40k game, it's 2000 points. So with three discounted, that's important to mention, three discounted boxes, we got more than 1000 points. So after this, what do we have to do or what you should do? You go to the Games Workshop web store, you filter by Black Templars and then you choose the units that you like the most and you would like to add to this army. Because of course, as I said, this army is like one step in every direction. So there are things that are lacking here, but it's quite interesting. It's quite nice and I think that it's a proper foundation. It's not, if there are units that can be useful in a lot of dif different situations. So if, if the meta change, we can change one unit for other. And I, I think that's quite nice. This is what I will do if I had to start attacking card right now. So let's talk about the units that we will get if we combine these three boxes. Okay, so as I said, let's talk about, about the miniatures that we will get if we combine these three boxes. First of all, let's talk about the characters and we are going to get two captains. It's the weakest part of uh, this uh, suggestion because maybe their abilities are going to overlap a little bit but it's not that bad because captains are good, they are useful, they are important and it's nice to have variety of captains. It's also nice that they are like different captains so we can join them to different units 
and in the Captain Intermediate Armor will join in the Terminators and the other one will be joining the whatever tactical unit we want in the army. So it's not that bad actually. Then we have the Chaplain. Chaplains have good synergy with the Black Templars because of course they are benefiting the melee combat and Black Templars really like that. So maybe we can add the Chaplain to the Premier Exclusive Squad or we can add it to the some intercessors, but it's up to you what you want to do with it. It's, uh, you can do whatever you want, of course, it's for Hammer. And now let's go for the battle line units. We are going to have uh, one primary exclusive squad and we are going to have two five man intercessor squad. This is nice because these are good units to score points or go for objectives or do things with them. They are units that they are not that important, so we can trade them for. Uh, uh, a better chance to deal damage to the enemy. It's, they are useful. I, I think that they are okay. And of course, with the extra bits of the primary exclusive squad, maybe we can turn this this one of these two units into an assault intercessor squad. It can be cool as well. So it's nice to have. And it's always nice to have some intercessor squad because they can be useful in a lot of different situations. They are not bad. And the primary exclusive squad is very important. I already made a video about them. I will leave it in the description. I will leave it there. You can watch it. I, I have talked about that squad too much. And then we go for the other kind of units. Then here we are going to have the variety. We have the Infernus Marines that they are super nice. They are scary at uh, Overwatch and they can deal very nicely against uh, let's say hordes or this kind of units that they don't have like a good salvation but they, they're quite nice, I like them and actually they really have a good synergy with the Impulsor because you can put them into Impulsor and then you can have some storm of fire going against your enemy I, I like that combination actually <laughs> I, I like it, sorry In Black Templars we like to purge the enemy and burn the heretic but anyway, that's another uh, topic as I said the Impulsor and the, the Infernus Marines, they have good synergy, so it's, it's something very nice that we can do. And uh, then we are going to have uh, two specific units that are going to be very, very good against the elite of the enemy. We are going to have the Inceptors. Uh, they, they have a really cool rule that they can deep strike three inches away from the enemy. So that, that's very scary, that, that you can set them whenever you want in the battlefield almost. And if you equip them with the plasma weapons and you, over, and you use the, the strong profile, uh, they are going to be dealing damage three. That's scary. Damage three is scary in the game. So they are going to give you this uh, a big push against the, the enemy elite. So they are quite nice because uh, Yes, they don't suit that much into the theme of the Black Templars, but they are really useful in the game, and that's what matters. Uh, they, you can use them to score objectives, you can use them to score the missions, you can use them to do a lot of different things, because they, they are dangerous. And of course we have the Terminators. Terminators are a little bit similar actually, because they also have like the Deep Strike keyword, but the rules are a little bit different, you cannot set them of course, you have to set them like 9 inches away instead of 3. So, yes, they are nicer, they can deal with light infantry by shooting and they can hit very hard with their power fists against the, the elite of the enemy. So they are quite nice and they suit like Templars actually, they are super cool, I really like them. And then we have a Dreadnought. A Redemptor Dreadnought, it's uh, like a menace, it's a very imposing vehicle. And I, I really like it because it's good at shooting, it's good at the melee combat, and of course that's something that Black Templars really, really appreciate. So those are the units that we will have with this list. And from here you can you can add whatever you want or whatever you prefer. You can say, okay, I I have this, I would like to add some more firepower, or so I will add some other dreadnought and I will add some tanks, or you can say, okay, I will. I will have like a big uh, infantry list and I will add a lot of um, uh, Crusader squads with the specific Black Templar characters. And th that's my point, that uh, here we have like a nice foundation, one step in every direction, and then we can finish this list with other things that we like. And it can be useful, it can work. Maybe it's not the most competitive thing that we can think about, but it's useful and it's fun. That's why I really like it. Uh, this, this is why I really like these box sets and that's why if I had to say to someone how to start a Black Templar Army in 10th edition 
these are the discounted boxes that I will suggest. And of course, it's important to have in mind that if you are focused to collect one army, sooner or later you are going to get all the unique characters of that army. That's why I didn't say, oh, you have to buy the Sword Brethren, you have to buy uh, Chaplain Grimaldus, you have to buy High Marshal Helbert. No, of course, if you want to collect Black Templars in the future, at some point you are going to get these unique characters and you will try to use them. So that's not something that I have to say. As I said, my point was to give a nice foundation to build an army. So that's what uh, mattered for me in this video. So I hope that you find this useful. You can share your thoughts with me in the comments. I will really appreciate it. And uh, of course, if you are still watching, please consider giving me a like and subscribing. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.